Hi guys, what's up? How are you? How is the day going? How is the night? Good afternoon, good morning, good night, good day, wherever you are in the world. Oh, glory be to God. Welcome, welcome, wel welcome. Shalom, welcome to my ministry. Impossible become possible to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Welcome, guys. Welcome, beloved. Oh, glory be to God. I'm just coming out here. Oh, glory be to God. Taking the time out. Oh, glory be to God. To, to, to share with you guys about what are the four steps of prayers. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heaven, Heavenly Father, I come before you as a humble servant, mighty God. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I am powerless, mighty God. Father God, I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. You are Alpha, you are the Mega, you are the beginning, you are the end. You are Elohim, you are Yahweh. There is none like you, there is none to compare unto you, mighty God. I ask you right now, forgive me for every unknown sin and known sin, oh God of Daniel. I ask you right now to let self slay and you increase within me, mighty God. Manifest your power through me, oh God of Daniel. Father God, I ask you right now, when I open up my mouth, you give me clarity, oh God of Daniel, let it come with clarity, understanding in the name of Jesus. I ask for wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Amen. Oh, glory be to God. So, guys, I'm here taking the time out. Oh, glory be to God to share with you guys what are the four steps of prayer. Oh, glory be to God. And the, the four steps is adoration, confession thanksgiving and supplication how oh, glory be to god now adoration is deep love and respect mean worship no before you go straight into prayer you're going to worship you're going to set your atmosphere um in alignment you're going to set everything in place oh glory be to god so that deep love you're going to you're going to to to, to come in connection and come in a place it is like when you go um when you're having a re in a relationship are you going to get intimacy or um whatever be the case you know you're starting up by the kissing now as prayer you're going to start with your worship start with a worship a worship song whatever it may be Oh, glory be to God. So adoration, you're going to start with a worship with deep love and respect. You're going to address the Almighty God, whatever name you call. Whether you want to call um, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Father, Elohim, Yahweh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Adonai, which name you feel comfortable using. You have to show respect. Just as though you will show respect to your partner, to, to, to your leaders, or uh, you will say a bishop or a pastor, you will put that 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 that, that title in front of their name. Oh glory be to God. So you have to have respect. Oh glory be to God. Confession. You the confession now you have to repent. Of your sin so when you're going you're gonna um go into prayer don't just go in and say father god i want you to do this for me no i want you to know you're going to worship you're going to set yourself right you're going to ask god to forgive you for your unknown sin and your, your known sin you have to acknowledge him as your lord and savior uh thanksgiving no, thanksgiving, the expression of gratitude to God. So you're going to always give him thanks. Even when time seems hard and you're going into prayer, even when things not going the way or you want it to go, still give God thanks for, for you to have life. Always give God thanks. Make it be that your priority to always give God thanks. No supplication. Someone makes a humble petition, act of humble begging for something. So you're going, to, you're going to ask God. Just as all you would, you, you, just as all you would ask um your partner for something, I ask it with respect. I humble yourself, waiting 
to get what you ask for. So that's the reason, the supplication, someone make a humble petition. Act of humbly begging, begging for something. So you have to humble. So in the meantime that you're waiting, that's the reason why in Romans 5 verse 3 it said, during your trials and your tribulation, you got to rejoice in your trials and your tribulation. You have to worship God in your trials and your tribulation. So remember now, adoration, deep love and respect, worship. You're going to confess your sin and confession. So you're going to confess your sin and acknowledge your sin. Acknowledge because remember that God already know what you have already have done. So you need you to acknowledge it. So when you acknowledge it, you're going to ask, Father God, forgive me for all my known sin and my unknown sin. Because sometimes persons would say that they don't know your evil sin in your even in your thought. You might not say it out loud, but by thinking about it, so you're going to ask God to, to forgive you for your, un, your unknown sin and your known sin. Oh, glory be to God. Now, learn how to pray in these four easy steps. Prayer has four, four simple steps. Step one, address Heavenly Father, ask for forgiveness, repent. No, you address the Heavenly Father, you have to address Him. Lord, I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. You are Alpha, you are Omega, you are the beginning and the end. You are Jehovah Nisi, you are Jehovah Rapha. What, whichever name you're comfortable calling Him. So you're going to address Heavenly Father. Then you're going to ask for forgiveness because remember that you're going into prayer. So you're going to acknowledge, you're going to address the Heavenly Father. No, you're going to ask for forgiveness. No, you're going to um, thank Heavenly Father. Show your gratitude. So when you're thanking Him for whatever He has done for you, and what he's about to do. So you get you're going to ask. You're going to ask. Now close in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray pray always with sincerity and with faith in in Christ. So if always sincerely, no matter what, no matter what the situation may be. You have to pray sincere, sincerely and with faith. Faith is an important thing. So if you're going to pray and don't have, have faith, it don't make any sense. Now, what are the seven steps of prayers? Abide in, abide in Christ the vine. Pray in faith. Stand on God's word. Pray in the spirit. Preserve in prayer. Use different type of prayer. Flow in God love. So if I always have love. No. That's the reason why in Matthew 6. When they were they were asking God, um, Jesus, how to teach him how to pray. Now it says, I'm going to read Matthew six, starting from verse three. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what you what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret and your father who see see in secret will re reward you and when you pray you must not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the in the synagogues and and at the street corner that they may be seen by others truly i say to you they have received their reward 
But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who, who is in secret. And your father who see in secret will reward you. And when, and when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as, a gen, as the Gentiles do. The, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them. For your father, for your father knows when you need before you ask him. No, verse 9 said, Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So you're, you're going to honor him. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. So you can see the step by step. So you're, you're addressing him. You're asking him. You're giving thanks. So it said. Give us this day our daily bread. Which is a word. You're going to feed on the word. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven. Forgiven our debtors, our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So you're going to you're going to acknowledge him. You're going to address him. You're going to ask for. Um, for repentance, they're going to um, give him thanks and they're going to ask. So there is steps and there is rules in prayer. You don't just get up and just start it to pray, no. You have to repent. You have to acknowledge him. You have to address him. So you have adoration. Would be the first one. Adoration will be the first one. Confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. So, guys, I hope you get something from this and you can change up your prayer life and the way all you pray, the way all you address the Almighty God, the way all you do stuff. Always remember this. Always. Ask God for forgiveness. No matter how you think you are in line, always ask God for forgiveness. Because evil in your selfish way or full of pride can cause you to evil whatever you are praying for. You will not get any result. You don't have to say anything harsh, harsh out of your mouth. But by being so, so selfish and full of pride, And pride is a part of what caused the loves Lucifer to get kicked out. So, so must always ask God. Ask him and always tell him thanks. Even for the trials and the tribulation, still tell him thanks. Still tell him thanks because your trials and your tests will make you be that person that God wants you to be. And for you to even know, know who you really are. And know the authority that you have. And the power that lies within you. To so sometimes even the warfare and the trials and the tests. Even allow to, for you to manifest your purpose. The, 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 um, your true you manifest. And that you can walk in your purpose and their calling. So remember guys, I hope this helps someone out there with their prior life. And how they address and how they, 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 they go about in prayer. So have yourself a wonderful life, wonderful time in the Lord. And I love you with the love of the Lord. Peace out, heaven bless you guys. Mwah.